intelligence had no idea that China had moved this far ahead. Now, all this is according to a report Britain's Financial Times newspaper, and they say that this summer, China managed to launch a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. They launched it into space. It circled the Earth before cruising towards its target. Now, these missiles... Subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. As you can hear, as you can read the title, uh, China just tested a hypersonic missile, just went around the world and went back to their target. Now, mind you, you know what they're doing, right? If they can do that, if they can do that, then they are making it where they're going to come up with a, a some type of missile where it can go around, hit United States, and then make this little target right back. Because they already got it. I mean, excuse me, we're getting to a point we're going to war with China. And what they're doing is getting prepared. They're staying ready to get ready. Now, you heard that United, United States intelligence didn't even hear nothing about that. They ain't know nothing about it. You know? They got to get their information off of others. It's sad that, you know, the, the society is helping the government get information. We And y'all supposed to be, you know? So, keep listening. They can travel at five times the speed of sound. They can fly lower than conventional missiles, and they can also be maneuvered in the air, which makes them very difficult to trace. So, bottom line, all this essentially means China is close to being able to launch a nuclear warhead against any other nation without any warning, and there'd be no defense against it. As in Did you hear that? They ready. They are ready. Fly out a missile, man, a nuclear missile. With, to anybody, United States, Australia, Russia, anybody, without any <laughs> type of offense, any, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. So here's the thing right now. They can just, they can shoot it off now. See, that's the thing, man. But see, I want to see, here's the thing about China. China needs United States as much as we need them. They, they, if they let go of the United States, always, what they always talk about, we're gonna, we're gonna bomb you and all that nuclear, but, you know, as far as like financial, that's one big country that, you know, China always talking about nuking, but they never will nuke because they, they, they love, uh, United States as much as, uh, uh, uh United States love them. And I, I say love, you know why? <laughs> because money, financial. Both of them got this amount of money that they spend with each other. And, as you know, United States is kind of like backed up right now. They owe, they owe down like Pookie. But, um, China is just like letting you know that they ready. And, um, they got this hypersonic missile, man. It ain't playing. They already just said right now that they are ready for war. See, me personally, I'm thinking, I mean, why are they waiting on, uh, United States to, uh, get in what they, cause I don't think they waiting. I think what it is is, you know, China, you know, they, uh, they real arrogant. They, you know, they build all this technology to use it. So, you know, mind you, they want to use these technologies. So what they're going to do is they waiting on the United States to go to war so they can use this technology, you know. Um, as of right now, like you said, hey, China got the, one of the biggest missiles right now. Now, now we don't know what the United States got. You know, they can lie. They can do anything. They might got something right now uh, they self. Um, but China right now is not playing China's not playing. And while y'all on this YouTube, whatever like that, y'all need to be looking up situations like that. What's going on around the world, around yo, yo, yo. Because, like, we're allies to everybody. The United States is like the word. You know how I like blacks? <laughs> you know how we the word. Right, they say, you know, worst enemy of the world is, you know, African Americans. If you want to keep it real. Um, but China's ready. I'm not fighting no war, man. I'm not fighting no army. I'm not fighting none of that. They, if they have to, like, you know, force it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I was raised like that. Like, I had military family, and they told me not to. As they got out, my grandpa and my, my father, you know what I'm saying, went in. And I was just like, who you fighting for? They don't know. You know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, like, for real. When you're in the United States, you die for nothing. Have you can walk up to the street, man. Walk up to the store or go around the corner. Walk to your car. You know, they got f fucking diseases. You could die out here. <laughs> go to war and you don't know what the hell going on. You fighting for just, you don't even know. Oh, it's top secret. We can't discuss it. It's top secret. 